Hi, my name is Isabella Siegel. I'm 16 years old and I am the founder of Connecticut Teens Against Gun Violence. I remember exactly where I was. I was sixth grade in the cafeteria during lunch and she said, Isa, like, look at this. And she showed me her like iPhone 4 and it had the, the news about Newtown on it. And I didn't think twice about it. Weirdly enough, I wasn't concerned. I felt like I had my own little bubble and I was safe. And as shooting after shooting happened, it, it started to decay more and more until finally it, it metaphorically popped during Parkland and I realized something had to be done. All the emotions from Newtown sort of came bubbling up that that's less than 30 minutes away from my school. Like that could have been me and my friends and the people I loved so easily. I called my dad over to the office and I said, I, we have to do something, you know, this is tearing me apart. I haven't been able to do anything else for the past week. And you think about these families and everyone else. So um, we called Jeremy Stein, who's the executive director of Connecticut Against Gun Violence. And I called him in tears. I'd never talked to this man before. So it's sobbing. I said, I need your help. We have to do something to combat this, I knew I had to start something and I had to get all my friends together and do something important because uh, when the kids talk, people are listening. Teens can make a difference more now than they ever have before. The adults every day that are making these big decisions for us about you know, safety in schools, they're not the ones who have to go to school every day. We're the ones who go to school and face the reality of a school shooter every single time we walk into those doors. So in terms of school shootings, it's, it affects us the most and we need to be aware and we need to be alert and that's why we need to be so involved. We're trying to get the state law changed because if we can get that changed and if we can and if we can work on safe storage and banning ghost guns and, and, and all these things on a local level, we can become the, the template that the country uses. Connecticut is a leader in gun violence prevention and we're doing pretty great things and we still have a lot more work to do. We get compared to people the teenagers and the youth from the 60s a lot of just like grassroots organizations like getting up and getting big all by themselves without the help of adults. I think a reason that we're getting empowered so much now is because compared to the 90s or the 80s, we have so much more access to so much more information and so many more resources and so many more incredible people to connect us with. It's really important we get started now so we can set up a future that we want to live in and a world that we want to live in.